friends and comrades first of all i convey revolutionary greetings to all of you on my personal behalf and also on behalf of the all india insurance employee association now as you are aware the aia is meeting in its working committee in the city of raipur from today that is the 24th of july till up to 26th of july and this working committee of the aia is a historic working committee it is tasked with taking stock of the developments in public sector general insurance industry relating to the wage revision question it is also tasked with formulating the charter of demands for employees in the life insurance corporation of india it is also before it it has also before it an onerous responsibility to thwart the move of the powers that be to privatize public sector at large and privatize public sector insurance industry in particular now we are very happy that almost 200 working committee members including the entire secretariat of the organization they have converged in the city of raipur in the state of chatisgarh the foremost or the most important responsibility before this working committee is to frame the charter of demand for wage revision for employees in the life insurance corporation of india now thanks to the efforts of the aia and because of the sterling performance of the lic the lic employees secured a very good charter of demand and they got their wage arrears in the month of may 2021 the next wage revision is due both for lic as well as for public sector general insurance employees from the 1st of august 2022 this working committee while it will formulate the charter of demands for lic that is due from 1st of august for the time being this working committee will take stock of the developments relating to wage revision in public sector general insurance companies the entire rank and file of the organization not only in general insurance alone but probably more than the general insurance comrades the lic employees are deeply agitated and anguished over the inordinate delay in settlement of the wage issue in public sector general insurance companies historically the wage revision of lic employees and general insurance employees it takes place at the same time immediately after the settlement in lic the wage revision in public sector general insurance follows suit but this time in new india even though lic wage was settled in the month of april 2021 and employees got their arrears in wage arrears in may 2021 till now the wage revision issue in public sector general insurance companies has not yet been settled now this working committee wants to know why is it that the wage issue of the psgi employees has not been settled till now the management and the government they have been taking very unethical stand on the question of wage revision of psgi employees now they say that the fundamentals of psgi companies are not as strong as are the fundamentals of the lic while at the theoretical level we don't agree with the contention of the management and the government this working committee is seized of the matter it wants to raise a pertinent question before the powers that be as well as before the management of psgi companies we are demanding the wage revision for general insurance employees on the basis of the strength and the so called fundamentals of the general insurance companies during the period 2012 to 2017 and we are happy to inform with justifiable pride we would like to inform that during the period when the wage revision was due that is 2012 to 2017 the public sector general insurance companies had been throwing up commendable performances in spite of the steep competition in the marketplace in spite of the step brotherly treatment that was meted out to public sector general insurance companies in spite of the fact that public sector general insurance companies because they are in the domain of the public sector and we are also proud of that fact they were saddled with some i mean loss making business at the dictates of the government when this was the position 
in spite of this position the public sector general insurance companies did remarkably well during the period 2012 to 2017 but we have been observing in the age of neoliberal globalization particularly the current dispensation they have not only been trying to privatize the public sector institutions as such they are trying to privatize public sector general insurance companies they have already made some devious attempts at diluting some government equity from the lic but now i mean in a grossly unjust way they have denied the long i mean the legitimate wage aspirations of employees in public sector general insurance companies and as i told you this working committee is deeply anguished and deeply agitated over the issue the denial of the wage revision to general insurance employees for this long a period this is something unprecedented and the organization the aia believes unprecedented situations call for unprecedented responses and definitely this working committee because the debates have already started the ball has already started rolling and the anguish and anger of the comrades from all over the all over the country particularly from the lic employees that is coming to the fore definitely this working committee after a detailed debate and discussion it will take some unprecedented decisions to see to it that the wage revision in public sector general insurance is settled and once that wage issue is settled the charter sub committee the secretariat of the aia they will sit down and they will formulate the fresh charter of demands for our comrades working in public sector general insurance companies apart from this the issues confronting public sector at large and the looming threat of privatization particularly a public sector general insurance companies that also will come up for discussion and this working committee will frame will chart out the future course of our struggle so that general insurance this is kept safe and secure in the domain of the public sector so that apart from meeting the aspirations of the customers we shall be in a position to discharge our larger responsibilities to the societies at large thank you